Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and the time of the top 10 albums of the 2010s. Oh my goodness, man. Um, This was by far the hardest list I've ever made. I kept going from this. I was like, no, that goes here, third, fifth, seventh, 20th. I, I just... It was so hard for me to figure out everything, but finally figured it out. Top 10 albums of the 2010s. I am happy with this list. I am happy. I've spent hours and hours, <laughs> maybe a couple hours, but here was my criteria. It was There was only one album per artist. Now, with the, ex ex with the exception of a collab album. So the most a artist can be on this is twice, meaning if Blank had a solo album, but he also had a collab album with somebody else that could both be on the list. So that those are my exceptions. I didn't want multiple art albums from one artist. I think that would kind of cloud everything. Um, these albums, the criteria for this was just the overall impact of it. The overall impact it had on me, the memories I gained with it, the hugs I had with the album, just the like the album and I connected in some weird way. <sighs> so that's what that's what we're looking at right now. Um, so a lot of memories with these albums. Oh my goodness! And I judge albums by like all of it. Like if I can name five or like. All the songs, if I can, like all these albums, I can play from start to finish and be okay. So let's get on with it. Let's get on with it. Let's get on. I'm, I'm excited. Top number 10. It's a five way tie. I know. I know, y'all. It's my list. I could not get, I could not have these albums not in my top 10. Could not. Version of Trap Saint McKnight, Travis Scott. Coloring Book by Chance the Rapper, Finally Famous Big Sean, Long Live ASAP Ace by ASAP Rocky, and American Teen by Khalid. These are the albums that were like amazing and that had a huge impact on my life, huge impact on everything. I just could not have them on, not on, the, on, my, on my list. Um, people don't really realize how big of a Big Sean fan I was uh, back earlier this decade. 2011, Finally Famous, he was one of my faves. Uh, in that Drake era, pre whatever, you know. All right, number nine. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Shrim Life by Ray Shrevered. Man, lit like Bic, no fly zone. My uh, my ex. This could be us. Up like Trump. No type. All bangers. It was like two kids just having fun. Music needs to be fun, and these kids brought it out. Of their music thank you Ray thank you Ray number eight number eight number eight here we go here we go watch the throne by Jay-Z and Kanye West oh my goodness do I need to say more people in Paris haha <laughs> Otis gotta have it welcome to the jungle who can stop me no church in the wild at the time it was very mind-blowing that these two artists would collab like this so great overall album number seven number seven the life of pablo by kanye west my favorite kanye album of this decade maybe i don't know uh, that's another topic okay father stretch father stretch my hands part one part two ultralight beam 30 hours uh waves fml wolves facts everything man it was the epitome of Kanye West. His wildness, his geniusness was all in this album. So, respect. Number six. D Dirty Sprite 2 by Future. <laughs> um, I served the bass, blow a bag, trap, where you at, know the meaning, commas, stick talk, groupies, thought it was a drought. Stop. Come on. Come on. Uh... It was a different type of rap. It was the first time trap music was amazing. And let's just get in the top five. Top 
five. Are y'all ready, man? Oh, my goodness. I'm getting emotional. Number five, Purpose by Justin Bieber, man. I'll show you. Love yourself. No pressure. No sense. The feeling. What do you mean? We are. This came out in 2015. 2015, late 2015, had so many road trips with this album. Uh, it was good to see Bieber. Like this was like a very mature album after his like Believe phase, and I was very surprised, reluctantly surprised, happy. It was like a little new turn of direction for Justin Bieber, and uh, excited for what he's about to do in 2020. So, all right, number four, number four, number four. Starboy by the weekend. I feel it coming. Starboy, reminder, rocking, sidewalks, love to lay, a lonely night, party monster, attention. It's just so good. It's so good. It's such a great album. I have so many memories with this song as well, or album. Came out fall 2016 during at the day for Thanksgiving. Um, so many memories so much with the weekend it was like it was an r&b rapper art like it was the first time where i was getting into more like r&b and rap at the same time type of thing and and i love when the weekend like flexes flex keep flexing man you know so this was definitely something different for me um beautiful a beautiful album. Uh, number three. All right. The top three are on a whole nother pedestal. A whole nother pedestal. Whole nother. I'm, I'm being completely serious. Number three. 2014 Forest Hills Drive. J. Jermaine Cole. Um, Love Yours. A Tale of Two Cities. Fire Squad. Apparently. O3 Adolescence. Uh, G-O-M-D. Came out uh, f uh, winter of 2014. This like I was huge J Cole. I loved Born Center, but this one just it just had the oomph that Jermaine needed in his life. The the intensity, the lyrics, the the vulnerability that he showed, especially on intro. Beautiful, beautiful rap. Um, so that's number three. Number three. All right, man. Number two, man. Number two. Oh, man. Oh, Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. I don't want the two pimple butterflies. I don't want the other albums. This is the best Kendrick Lamar album. I mean, Don't Kill My Vibe, Back, Backseat Freestyle, The Recipe, Money, Money Trees, Black Boy Fly, Art of Peer Pressure, Mad City, Poetic Justice, Swimming Pools. This, this came out fall 2013. I listened to this all sophomore year of high school. So many great memories. So much like, wow, this is something new. This is something different. So I was very happy with this album. From start to finish, everything that was great about this album. Except for the Don't Kill My Vibe remix, which didn't need to be made, by the way. Let's move on. Number one, man. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Take care by Drake. The motto, make me proud. Cameras will be fine. Shop for me. Doing it wrong. Practice. Headlines. Mars room. Take care. Lord knows. Every song on this album, and the reason why I love this album so much, it involved rap. It involved feelings. Music involves slow music, R&B, hardcore rap though, melodic rap, beautiful rap. It it has every type of music on there. People say nothing was the same was better. Yeah, cool. That might be Drake's favorite, but I don't know if it's Drake's favorite. Whatever. But this Take Care was the overall embodiment of Drake. Great album so that's it man that's my top 10 albums of the 2010s thank you for watching uh nothing was the same or whatever take care that's all i gotta say um yeah that's about it thank you for watching uh take care